Hello. I'm Sally, your host. Welcome to the third board, my master's chess channel. Here I will show you games from great players of the past, and other chess related content. For today's video, my master chose an instructive game of the Soviet Armenian Grand Master, Tigran Petrosian, played in 1958, Porto Ross, Slovenia. Petrosian became the ninth world champion in 1963. His opponent in today's game was Ludjek Pahamun, a Czechoslovakian Grand Master. Pahamun won the Czechoslovak Championship seven times between 1946 and 1966, and became the champion of West Germany in 1978. He played in six interzonal tournaments, but never became a candidate. Pahamun was also a prolific author publishing 80 books in five languages. He considered modern chess strategy, published in 1959, to be his best book. So, let's begin. Ludjek Pahamun has white and starts with Pawn to c4. To ground Petrosian responds with. Knight to f6. And after. Knight to f3. d6. d4. In this position, if the opening continued with. Knight from b, to d7. Knight to c3 e5 and pawn to e4 The opening would have been transposed to the main line of the old Indian defense In this opening, different from the king's Indian defense, black develops his king's bishop on e7, rather than by fianchetto on g7 the bishop on e7 is considered to be less active than on fianchetto, and the old Indian defense, has never attained the popularity of the king's Indian. Let's return to the game. After pawn to d4, other main moves for black are. Pawn to c6, the check variation. Pawn to g6 which can transpose to the king's Indian defense and bishop to g4, the Tartakover Indian variation and this was the move employed by Petrosian in this game Petrosian, who was fond of the king's Indian defense, may have employed these moves to avoid his opponent opening preparation however as we are going to see in the game, he will develop his dark squares bishop by fianchetto, transposing to a somewhat different, king's Indian defense. The opening continues with knight to c3, g6, e4, bishop takes on f3, queen takes on f3, Pawn takes bishop, opening the king's knight file was also good according to Stockfish. With queen takes on f3, white is threatening to play pawn to e5, attacking the knight, and the b7 pawn. Black responds. Knight from f, to d7. Instead of this move, it was also good to play knight to c6. The game could have continued the following way. Queen to d1 e5 d5 Knight to d4 Bishop to g5 Bishop to g7 Queen to d2 Castles Bishop to d3 
C6. And the position would be only slightly better for white according to Stockfish. Let's return to the game. After knight from f, to d7, white plays. e5. According to the engine, it was better to play bishop to e3. One possible continuation is. Bishop to g7. Rook to d1. Knight to c6. Queen to h3. E5. And white would be slightly better. Let's return to the game. After e5, Stockfish evaluates the position as equal. Black continues with Knight to c6. E takes on d6. Instead of this move, white could also have played pawn to e6 sacrificing a pawn for initiative. In this case, one possible continuation is Pawn takes pawn Bishop to e3 Bishop to g7 Castles queen side e5 Pawn takes pawn Knight from d takes on e5 Queen to e4 Queen to d7 h3 Castles queen side f4 Knight to f7 And despite black being a pawn up, the position would be equal. Let's return to the game. After e takes on d6, the game continues with Knight takes on d4 Threatening the queen and the fork on c2 Queen to e4 White could also have grabbed the b7 pawn In this case, one possible continuation is C takes on d6 Knight to c2 check would be a mistake because of King to d1 Knight takes rook Knight to d5 Queen to c8 Knight takes on c7 check And white would be better Let's return to the variation After c takes on d6, the game could have continued with Knight to b5 Knight to e6 It would also have been a good move to capture the b5 knight g3 Bishop to g7 Bishop to g2 Rook to c8 Castles Rook takes on c4 Bishop to e3 Castles Knight takes on a7 And this position would be equal according to the engine Let's return to the game After queen to e4, the game continues with e5 D takes on c7 Queen takes on c7 Knight to d5 Queen to d6 According to Stockfish, it was better to play queen to c6, pinning the knight, and with the possibility of playing later bishop to b4 check. One possible continuation after queen to c6 is Bishop to e2 f5 this move wins a pawn for black. Queen to d3. Rook to c8. Exerting pressure on the c4 pawn. K 
castles. Giving up the c4 pawn. If instead of this move, white played pawn to b3 trying to defend the pawn. One possible continuation would be Knight to b6 Knight takes knight Queen takes on g2 Knight takes on c8 Queen takes rook check Bishop to f1 King to f7 And black would be better Let's return to the variation. After white castles, we could have Knight takes on e2 check Queen takes on e2 Queen takes on c4 Queen to d1 Rook to c5 Knight to c3 and the position would be slightly better for black according to master fish. Let's return to the beginning of this variation. After queen to c6, another possible continuation, perhaps more risky is bishop to f4 bishop to b4 check bishop to d2 f5 Queen to h4 Bishop takes bishop check King takes bishop But the position would be better for black Let's return to the game After queen to d6, the game continues with Bishop to f4 Knight to e6 Unpinning the pawn and threatening the bishop. Castle's queenside was also good. Bishop to e3. Stockfish prefers, bishop to d2. Bishop to g7. The engine suggests pawn to f5, instead. Castle's queenside. Castle's king side. Look carefully at this position. The game can take many directions from here. So, before we continue the game, let's see some variations. According to Stockfish, one good move for white here is Queen to h4. And the game could continue like this. Knight to d4 f4 knight to f5 knight to e7 check queen takes on e7 queen takes queen knight takes queen and the position would be equal a second candidate move is pawn to g4 and the game could continue like this Rook from f, to d8 g5 Knight from d, to c5 Queen to g4 Knight to d4 h4 b5 h5 And we would have a sharp position but equal according to the engine. Another candidate move, but not so strong is, pawn to h4. In this case, a possible continuation would be, knight from d, to c5. Bishop takes knight. Queen takes bishop. Threatening the f2 pawn. h5. Rook from a, to e8 Preventing knight to e7 check f3 Queen to f2 And the position would be equal 
wow, that was a lot of variations. I hope you are still with me. In the actual game, Paimon chose another move, which is a good move according to the wise fish, but it led the game to a very different path. It's not difficult to find it. But if you wish to try, and study this position, pause the video now. In this position, Paimon plays. Knight to b6. Threatening the queen and the rook. And here we arrived at the most interesting position of this game. I do not think Petrosian was surprised with this move. He probably was aware of this possibility when he castled. What should Black do now? He would lose the exchange, if he just retreated the queen. Black could also counter-attack of course. But how? Would you play knight to d4? blocking the white rook? Maybe black should play, knight from e, to c5, attacking the white queen instead. Or perhaps, black should play another move. What would you do? Did you like this game so far? I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want notifications of more content like this, please subscribe to this channel. I shall narrate this game's conclusion in the next video. My master wishes you good luck in your chess. Thank you, and see you again in part 2. Goodbye.